Hello everybody, this is Cube here today with an episode of Spore, which if you haven't heard of Spore, first off, shame on you. Second off, it was a game developed by Maxis and released in 2008, published by EA. Um, I believe you can get it on Origin, and there are also two expansion packs, the Creepy and Cute pack and Galactic Adventures pack, both of which are installed, which is why I have Space Stage here unlocked already. But anyway, um, let's just get it, go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna be a herbivore. Let's play on normal. And naming the planet. How about? Mm, let's actually choose one of the random names because it's quite nice. Uh, Destel, sure. Now for the opening cutscene. Very nice sun. Ooh, solar flare. And a giant meteor. Alright, so the premise of Spore, if you don't know it, is you evolve your creature, which starts from a cell, into, eventually, a space empire. And in Spore, there are three main routes you can take. Uh, herbivore, friendly, religious, which is kind of the green route, the good route. Uh, the blue, which is... Um, omnivore economics um, in a mixture of both uh, befriending and killing which is typically the blue path and red which is carnivorous uh, killing and total domination those three paths kind of dictate um, how you play the game and the most important decision we have to make is actually right here in the tide pool when we very first start so here's our little guy he's a little chubby got some wigglers things on the side um, our creature right now is an herbivore, is an herbivore, which means we can only eat these little green blobs, and they contribute to our DNA points, which you can see in the lower left-hand corner. And we can use that to evolve our creature. Oh, we just got a little bit bigger, and that is a giant thing lurking in the background. Chomper, that is not in the background. Uh, that is not in the background. Oh come on, I don't want to die five seconds in. And. Um, to upgrade a creature, we mate, but to up to get the parts to upgrade a creature, um, in the cell stage, they're found kind of randomly. Uh, and, oh my gosh, he's still chasing after me! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh. He's got six eyes? Why would you need six eyes? Oh, alright, I think we, I think we lost him. So what I do want to do with this play playthrough is be an omnivore, which is kind of regarded as the the easiest, typically the easiest um, path, just because you can kind of do what you want and you have some lenience to do what you want. So, let's go ahead and get started on that. For those who don't know how to become an omnivore, it's easiest to start as a herbivore, how it, however it doesn't matter. Um, once you just have a little bit of DNA points, you're going to want to go ahead and enter the cell editor. Once you're in the cell editor, just go ahead and put Hold on, let me take this mouth off. Go ahead and put the mouth on the front and try to get both of them kind of near the front so you can now eat out of the front, basically. Um, I think we need... Let's get this. Let's get this red eye. And let's put it in the back, why not? Let's make like a squid. A squid guy. Looks pretty cool. Maybe some more bone density here, unless there. Looking pretty decent. Now for painting. Uh, let's make him green. And of course, not solid green, but green with some racing tripes. Wonderful. Hmm, name your species. Let's look at some of these for inspiration. Pentis. <laughs> oh, that is, um... Ah, uh, never mind, I ever did anything. <laughs> um, uh, let's name it, oh, man, I can't think of a good name. Emily, Nadodos, Ameros, Tiani, Mathery, Maling, Sonda, Marion. These names are funny. Let's name it Cube. Cuban. Cube? Just cube. 
I think that's good for now, actually. Go ahead and save and exit. And there is our new baby hatching out of the egg. Pretty rocking right now. Uh, to check your progress on whether you're a herbivore or a carnivore, you can go to this. So right now we're actually kind of still in the omnivore phase, just because we haven't. Because that's where you start, and you haven't eaten enough to become herbivore. Herbivore. I don't. I don't know how to say it. Um, these four little icons right here are the benefits you'll get in later stages. So basically, uh, you can start at any stage you want. However, it's best to start at the creature stage because. In the in uh, I'm sorry, cell stage because in the creature stage you'll get siren song, in the tribal stage you'll get refreshing storm, in the civilization stage you'll get healing aura, and in the uh, space stage you'll get social suave. And each of these have their own benefits, but I'm just going to go omnivore obviously for this one. And you can also see the four stages, five stages right here, which if I haven't gone over are cell, creature, tribal, civilization, and space. So to regain some of our evilness. I guess you could put it that way. Let's try to take out this guy. Eh, he's got spikes. Never mind. Let's just eat some meat. Oh, let's, take, let's eat these little guy. Come here. Om nom nom. I never really got why there's meat in here. I mean, maybe if you can't kill a creature at first, but I mean, you can. it's pretty easy to kill a creature, so... Let's see if we can get the omnivore mouth, because that's really important for us right now. I think we might need to be a little bit bigger, so let's just go ahead and keep eating some meat. Oh, uh, it did not sound good. <laughs> we haven't gotten any new parts recently. That's mine. Die! Oh, gosh. Oh, he's got spikes. Actually, we didn't take a lot of damage. Is this guy... I think he's a herb an herbivore. Mm, nice balanced diet. That thing is so close. Oh, these are these are fun. They're like kind of feeding places. Gotta get our veggies and protein. Come on, come back here. Oh, he got stuck on the micro thing. Looks like a snowflake. All right, let's take a look. Just make sure we're not straying too far one way. Yeah, we can eat a little bit more meat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I believe the name of this creature is actually Ducky. Believe it or not. And a giant peanut. Wonderful. Man, this game is a lot more... Uh, at least the stage is a lot more interesting to look at than I remembered. Let's go ahead. Come on. I, I want to get one of these guys with the boosters. Um, One of them's down here for sure. That guy. Let's see if we can... Get him. Oh no, that guy doesn't have a booster. Whoa, this guy does though. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on. Yes, we got a booster. Alright, um. Let's see if we can. Hmm. I want to kill a guy with spikes to get spikes, but I also want the herbivore mouth. Oh, this guy's got the herbivore mouth, actually. This is perfect. I'm not herbivore. I keep saying. And I can't actually kill him yet. There's the ducky. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just gonna... Oh, part, part, part. Come on. This is... I'm like so close to just getting eaten in one bite. Uh-oh. And he's got a poison thing. Alright, where's the... Yep, that is called the ducky. Oh, there it is. Oh, there... No, it's not. I lied. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just witnessed my wife get eaten in front of my eyes. I just witnessed my wife getting eaten. That was... <laughs> and then I found another one five seconds later. Basically how marriage works. Alright. Oh, we, we don't have enough for a jet. Hmm, we have silly have fast turns, speed, speed. Oh, we do have spike already, actually. Let's go ahead and get some. Let's get some spikes, so we can possibly kill the an the herb the the omnivore. <laughs> I can't pronounce any of them. Interesting. It also popped me out kind of backwards. Oh, come here, come here. 
<laughs> this little guy's. Oh, and that's the second time that's happened. <laughs> Alright, where are we at? And we are pretty bounced out. Oh, that poison. It's horrible. Oh, that's horrible too. That f the physics engine saved my life right there. And you're eating. Alright, okay. I am going straight into his mouth. Oh, come on. I need to get one of those green guys with the tons of jets because... Oh my gosh, those are fast. But I do need to get that because I need an omnivore mouth. But let's get this meteor piece right now. And that's the poison. Alright, cool. Oh, there's this guy up here. Come on. Uh, die. One little... Yes, there we go. Alright, on to our mouth. Let's go ahead and change this immediately. The reason the omnivore mouth is so important is because in the creature stage... Um... Oh, did I... Uh... What? What? <laughs> did... did <laughs> I, so, I think what happened there is... I think what happened there is... My wife got, my mating partner got eaten as I was mating with her, and she, I, I don't even, I don't even know what just happened, <laughs> and I don't think I want to know. Alright, let's make this thing look more squid-like. Maybe pointers at the sides, kind of like bumper guards. I can change the size. Oh yes, we can, sweet. Let's make him look like he has wings or something. Mustache, maybe? I don't know. This thing's looking kind of cool. It's looking <laughs> oh, wow, that does not look appropriate, but alright. Anyway, as I was saying, the reason we want an omnivore mouth is because when you go into the creature stage, if you don't have an omnivore mouth already, then you can't get an omnivore mouth, and that's kind of disappointing that you have to have two mouths on your creature at all time. So, that's why I'm just trying to get one now. And By the way, the omnivore mouth can both attack and eat, uh, oh, that's not where I want to go, eat, uh, the veggies, I guess you could call them, these things. Man, that guy is brutal, he just don't even care, just runs up and sucks the living life out of them. Yes, the living life. These guys have a lot of spikes. Oh, come on. <gasps> I am so close to dying. I need food. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Don't run, don't run. Yes! Alright, sweet. Now we're in the top state. No, I think we got one or two more to go. That thing is scary. Ooh, we want the electric stuff. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We got the electric parts. Oh, and we unlocked all the parts. Sweet. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. Now we just need to worry about... Oh, and I was actually wrong. You can't m eat meat as with an omnivore mouth. You can only... Suck the living, the living life out of your enemies. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting chased by two duckies that are partially inside of each other. I never think I, that I would. That that's probably the only time I would ever say that sentence. I'm getting chased by two duckies. Oh, hey, look, there's one of my own kind. Oh, and I just got bigger. Bye, ducky. No, come back here. I need those j- Oh! Nice save. Can I hurt my own kind? No, that'd be a little cruel. Get zapped, ducky. Oh, come on. These guys are impossible to approach. approach. I am just- I just cannot talk today. <laughs> Come on. Man, where's all my money going? I just, like, am seeming to get no money this round. <laughs> Apparently, my... My my cell, my, my spore creature, that doesn't have actually a mouth that appears to be capable of saying words, just screamed. And yeah, this is the final stage because it gets all kind of light colored and now you rule the 
rules of the world, I guess. Except for giant poison puffer fishes with spikes everywhere. Also duckies. I, okay, apparently this duck is dead. Swim to safety, my friend. Let's go ahead and mate just to get full health. Oh no, wait. I want to get all these. No, I don't want to get all these. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he is. Come on. And perfect timing. Ooh, that was close. Egg. Alright, this is probably the... L Seriously? 25. Jeez. That's actually shocking. Do we need this? Let's get a jet. I'd rather have a jet than sharper turns. Eh, let's keep it kind of a squid shape. Let's make it more... Can we make it any longer? No, I think this is the max, but let's make it more... Squiddy, I guess. Oh no, we want a big eyeball. Oh, wow, that's frightening. I wonder if this, the size of the spikes actually increase the hitbox. <laughs> let's not turn it that way again. <laughs> Alright, now we're ready to go. Not the most visually pleasing creature, but... At least it's semi-functional. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, the physics in this game sometimes. I'm about to die, too. I just got knocked by something and just went flying. Alright, I need to seriously find some health. Come on. And there we go. Alright, I'm at health health now. Better than staying at zero. Come here, ducky. Man, this booster is a real improvement. And there we go. I can eat you in one bite. Actually, no, I can't. Oh, the only problem I have with this game, I guess, is just... It doesn't feel like you're evolving. It feels like you're... You have a, a car and you're just making upgrades to it. It doesn't... It, it's just not very... It doesn't feel like you're evolving the creature and like it's slowly changing over time it feels like you can remodel your creature in a second now if you could set a destination and then slowly over time as you played it would reach the destination you set so like if you would if i put a booster on the character and he wouldn't immediately get it but over time he would slowly you know grow a spot there and then it would eventually evolve into a booster just as like over a course of a couple minutes of playing that would have been kind of cool but probably even more difficult to uh I, imp that not I'm, I don't know what I'm trying to say uh, implement there we go I do not remember this sandy colored background did I just kill him in one hit because if so that's pretty cool let's see if we can take down this big guy uh, never mind about that actually actually he looks pretty safe it's just fast uh, come back that's a different guy Come on! Ah, man, I cannot. Seems that guy's got a lot of mounts. Oh, and I am almost dead. One more bite from someone could be my end. All right, let's just take a look before we eat our last couple. Um, yeah, looks pretty, looking pretty balanced actually. Whoa. Okay. Apparently, you can suck up the bubbles. can also suck up the creatures. Alright, call me as a creature creator. Now we'll just eat this last little plant and that should be the end. Or just one ducky. Well, that's not even ducky. I'm not getting anything from these. I'm getting gang beat. Alright, come on. There we go. So we have our speck of dust has turned into a brain. Congratulations, you're on the path of sentience. So I could swim around for a little bit, but it, it appears that I am an omnivore. And let's look at our sh our history. So first we were this black looking guy, and then we have some squid formations, and then the slender thing we have right now. All right, let's go on to this creature stage, landfall.
basically finish this all stage. Alright, now this is um, an editor you only see once in the game, actually. And this is right now when you see it. And the only thing different this is from the cell editor is the 3D ability and the ability to add legs. So let's go ahead and add some thunder caps. Now, which way is our guy looking? He's actually looking this way. Alright. So let's keep this one eyeball. Let's give him a long. Nah, that's. Let's move his body like. Well, that looks pretty cool. You know what we should do? We should make him like an anteater. We don't quite have the funds to. We don't quite have the funds to um, give him multiple legs, but. You know, we should actually. Because of the name of our species is a cube, let's make it very short and stout. I don't know how well this is going to work evolutionarily, if that's even a word, but... And spikes on its knees caps, of course. Nah, let's just keep it at the sides. Uh, we'll actually do a whole overhaul thing f uh, later, but for right now, I think this will be the end of the episode. So thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.